Hey everybody out there in the modeling community of YouTube. Well, final update on my, well, I'm finished with my 48 hour build. Um, it was fun, very fun. Uh, challenges you, opens your mind up, makes you want to just, you know, especially this snap tight with a twist. Because you got to do a lot of cutting, a lot of fabricating. Um, you just never know what you're going to get when you do that. Especially me, I, I kind of, when I'm scratch building and, and cutting stuff out and all that, you know, a lot of things going on in the community. It's kind of hard to keep up with a lot of this stuff, you know. But, I try. I still got to get my tank for the, the Styrene Syndicate Brotherhood build. Um, that's going to be fun. Um, got to get another kit. Don't really know what yet. My wife, she wants me to build a... Um, 70 Cuda and paint it pink and put some pink bows on it and this and that for um, for the breast cancer awareness Roadhog is thrown out there to build to do a build for awareness I guess it doesn't really matter what awareness to build it on you know like breast cancer cancer stuff like that um, but I'll probably end up doing it for breast cancer because my wife, she walks five miles every year for breast cancer. And um, that's coming up soon for her. And let's see, what else we got going on? Well, back to the 48-hour build. I've seen some videos out there. Alan Spencer, he had that um, Camaro, that Grumpy, I think it's Grumpy's. Um, but it, 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 it was pretty cool. And then you got Motorhead 1964. He's building a dually, but he didn't get finished. But he's still working on it. And, um, it's going to be pretty cool. It's got a, uh, 572 big block in it. Um, it is, it's going to be pretty cool. Chevy Cheeseburgers Corvette, it turned out awesome. I don't know what he's talking about. He said, <laughs> but it did turn out good. Um, mine, yeah, it came out good. I it, it took a lot. It just took a lot of cutting, fabricating, fitting everything. You, it just it, it was a blast. Um, just a lot of stuff going on. Um, I'm having a blast doing this YouTube thing and building my models. No matter if I had YouTube or not, I still have fun building my models. But this YouTube thing puts a extra into it. Makes me want to go the extra mile and, you know, really put a lot of effort in stuff. I mean... I've built a lot of models in the past year and a half, and some of them came out decent. Some of them are a little, I mean, I know what's wrong with them, but I didn't change it. I just left it alone. It's a learning tool. Keeps me growing in the hobby. Um, I've got over 30 more kits to build, you know, and I keep buying them. I don't know why, but... <clears throat> A lot of stuff going on so let me get to my final on my snap tight with a twist 48 hour build let me show you what I got tell me what you guys think all right guys finally done snap tight with a twist 48 hour build Chevy cheeseburger was Throwing out there 
take a snap tie kit, put an engine, chassis, um, glue it up, paint it up, and it have an engine in it, and had to have a chassis, rear end, front end. So here's what I got out of this kit right here. This one here, that 34 Ford Street Rod. All right, let me show you here. There it is. I'll bring it here closer in. Here you go, boys. It's a little street rod. Yes, sir. Little street rod. Got the big fat tires on the back. I made those wheels. I took the existing wheels from the kit and I added a rim flange to it. I guess that's what you call it. Extended them out. And got a hemi in it with a blower. That ought to do the trick. Wired it up. Got some stickers back on the firewall. Got the zoomies put on it. The paint turned out pretty good considering the weather I've had and the paint jobs that I've screwed up in the past week. It turned out magnificent. Turn this around and show you how the, the big old fat tires are on the back here. Yeah, buddy. And the front. Now see right here on the radiator shroud, that's the radiator cap. I made it out of, um, it's for a 55 Chevy, it's the front end of, it's the airplane on the front end of a 55 Chevy. I'll put that on there. Some stickers on the back. Got the zoomies on it. Yes, sir. I don't know if we can see inside. Got the gear shift handle. But all in all, it came out real good. I'm really happy with it. Like I said, I'm a little late. But better late than sorry, right? <laughs> Um, finished it up today, but, you know, like I said, it was a fun, fun, I'm telling you, real fun, so, I will be in just about everyone that has, he has, so, there it is. I think it's pretty cool. Came out good. Let's see if we can show on the bottom here. Here's a little detail. Like I said, it's not it, it's not perfect, but it it was a snap tie kit. What else could you do with a snap tie kit? <laughs> but do something like this. Just something radical. But, tell me what you think, guys. This is a big wheel. Coming at you from the plastic rods shop. And I'll talk at you later. Okay.